Well, here we have the FM or frequency modulation equation for FM synthesis. It has a constant amplitude and it has a time varying argument to the sine function. I'll call that the phase function phi of t. Now, as we consider the general shape of this phase function, we see that we have a constant ramp of slope 2 pi fc. And so that, that's, uh, the fc is called our carrier frequency. And then added to this constant ramp, we have a sinusoidal variation superimposed. And the degree to which that sinusoidal variation is added to the constant ramp is given by the modulation index, capital I. So we can think of that as the amount of frequency deviation that's occurring. F sub m is our modulation frequency, and that simply dictates the rate at which we cause that frequency deviation to occur. In a sense, we can think of this as being a high-speed version of the vibrato uh, equation. And the idea now is to allow the modulation frequency to be in the audio range. So FM Demo 1 uh, is a direct implementation of the FM synthesis equation. And I want to explore the spectrum of the signal a bit. And I'm showing you how to turn off the auto scaling so that way the uh, with manual scaling, we always see the amplitude over the same range, 0 to 1. So you'll note that as we vary the carrier frequency, we shift that single sinusoidal component around. We need the modulation index to be a non-zero value before we can see any sidebands. So uh, in increasing our modulation index gives us a wider bandwidth signal. adjust the spacing of the sideband ratios. So in summary, we say that the modulation index controls the bandwidth of the sound. The modulation frequency controls the sideband spacing. And the carrier frequency sets the center of our sideband cluster. Why don't you try out some values on your own as well?